Hi boys and girls, Extreme Aquarius Clark Ball again. Talking about our wolf eels that hatched here in the last month or so at the Birch Aquarium. They're now about seven weeks old and as you can see some of them are six or seven inches long. They're getting lots of nice markings on them. They're getting a little red color on their face and they're doing great. So we have an automated feeder that we feed our wolf eels with now. Two reasons for that. One is that we want them to be fed round the clock in three hour intervals. And there's no one here in the middle of the night to feed them. So we bought a machine that does that automatically for us. And the other reason that we want them to be machine fed is we don't want them to get used to being fed whenever a person walks up to the tank. Because then whenever someone walks up to the tank, they have a tendency to start fighting with each other knowing that some food's coming. This way the food just drops in at three hour intervals. They don't know it's coming. There's no signal. They just chase the food instead of messing with each other. I'm going to pull this back and this cocks the feeder. This is a, a belt. It's run by a clock mechanism, so it's not electric. We don't have to plug it in or anything. It just runs like a watch spring. We take our pellet food that we're feeding them. This is a high-protein diet designed by a company specifically for larval fish, and it's 50% protein and only 10% fat. So that's one of the reasons why these guys are about five times as big as they were six weeks ago. And we just lay out intervals of food. This is a 24-hour belt, so we lay out eight lines at equal intervals, and every three hours it dumps a bunch of pellets in there for them to eat. So these wolf eels are now, like I said, about seven or eight weeks old. Um, it's probably going to be another three or four months before they're big enough, big enough for us to ship some out to other aquariums, and hopefully within about two months we'll be able to do a display of quite a few of them. I'd like to see 40 or 50 on display in one tank.